welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And I'm excited to come back today to do a tag video. It's been a while since I've gotten to do one, and I'm very excited. This has been interesting today. I keep a list of tag videos I've either been tagged in or I'm interested in doing in a Google file and I just went backwards order so end of the alphabet and the tag that I've chosen today is under the covers book tag and the original tag was done by Mars over at Somber Honey Books and her channel and the video that she did is linked below. Now there were nine prompts but I was only able to complete seven and you will find out. <laughs> so. To start off with, the first prompt is a book with the same cover under the dust jacket. And for that, I have Prisoner of the Mound Builders. As you can see, here's that weird looking graphic. But no, they thought it was good to put on the actual hardcover as well. kind of funny. I kind of want to put it back on my shelf now where it goes, but we'll leave it out. Prop number two is book with a different design under the cover, but not a plain cover. So prop number two is book with a different image under the cover, but not a plain cover. And I didn't have one for this. I've seen them, or I've seen books like this, but I don't own one. Prop number three, book with an image embossed in the book cover. And for that, I have The Fallen Man by Tony Hellerman. Has this nice little graphic. It's kind of shiny. There we go. I think that's the best. Prop number four, book with words embossed on the hardcover. Now, all my hardcovers have the words up down the spine. But this was one of the few that actually had the words on the cover, and this is A Disciple's Life by Neil A. Maxwell. Take it back, it's by Bruce C. Hafen, but it's about Neil A. Maxwell. Prop number five is a book with the nice end papers. Now, <laughs> I just happen to be reading Tress of the Emerald City, and this has beautiful end papers, but I don't own this. The only book I own that has end papers is the 13th tale. And I'm not sure if I would consider this nice, but it's definitely interesting. Prop number six, book where you lost the dust jacket. And that would be Anne of Green Gables by Ellen Montgomery. This is my second copy of Anne of Green Gables. The first one was paperback and I read it till it fell apart. And so I was like, all right, I'll get a hardback to make it better, but I didn't like the dust jacket cover image, so I tossed it. I was like, and it looks better just like this. Prop number seven, unexpected color when under the dust jacket. I've taken this one apart, I'll put it back together real fast. So I have When You Trap a Tiger by Tay Keller. And for me, like I was expecting an orange, but this book is purple. I did not expect that coming. Um, so yeah. And then prop number eight is almost neon bright under the dust jacket. And the closest one I have is Protector of the Small by Tamara Pierce. It's not quite neon green, but it's as close as I have. And then number nine is a weird dust jacket. And this was another prompt that I didn't have. And then Mars asked us to make either a rainbow or a gradient with our book spines. And I went for a rainbow, as you would have seen in my book cover. But it has a little bit of issues. I had five spines that go very well together. But to get the orange, I mean, you have to kind of go from the side. You can't get the actual spine. So, kind of going for these. This is All the Tides of Fate by Adeline Grace. This is Babel by R.F. Kuang. I have <laughs> Anne of Green Gables, 
by Ella Montgomery, The Midnight Library by Matt Haig, and When You Trap a Tiger by Tay Keller. So it makes a very nice, pretty rainbow. But to get orange in, I have the Goblet of Fire. So that is why you see in my thumbnail picture. Orange. Got my full rainbow. Though I guess it really orange should be the other way around. I'm not going to be picky. I got all the colors. I invite whoever wants to do this to do it as well. Doing this, a lot of my hard covers came from my TBR shelf and not from my personal want to keep rereading shelf, which I find interesting. I have way more paperbacks and I'm okay with that. I'm not much of a hardback person generally. So yeah, I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Thank you and have a great day.